Hi, it's Rick here from the CAD Jewelry School and in this short video we're just going to look at some basic navigation using Maverick Studio. Now if you're a Rhino Gold user, just make sure that when you start this splash screen that comes up when you open the software that you are uh, or you have set your navigation mode to McNeil Rhinoceros. That way uh, things like uh, right mouse button and panning will work. And we're just going to open up one of these default sample scenes just to show you a few other things. So just click on that to open that up. And I'll just make this render a bit bigger. Let's come to the render tab. And here the resolution is set to fit to view. We can change that. So I'll just change that to something not too big. We'll do the 640 by 360. And I'm just going to scroll out a bit using the scroll wheel on my mouse. Now this particular scene is set up to autofocus. So you'll see that the image goes blurry as you zoom out. But if you right click on the image, you can click autofocus to focus at that point in the image. If you want to disable the autofocus function, you can do so by right clicking and just clicking disable global depth of field. And I'll just scroll out a bit further. Now the first thing is we can use our right mouse button. By holding that down we can rotate around a scene that we've got. Okay. So the same way that you would use in Rhino or Rhino Gold or Matrix Gold or those sorts of products. If we hold down our shift button and you have to press the shift button first and then right click and you'll be able to pan the view. So you can pan around the view. Again, similar to what you do in Rhino. Now, if you wanted to rotate the actual piece that you're rendering, we can hold our left mouse button down and draw a bounding box around all of that. You'll see that all of the objects then highlight, except the ground plane which in this case is the marble, because I've not selected that. And if we come over here, our Move tool will allow us to move objects. So the default behavior is to move the position of the object. So let me just again spin around using my right mouse button here. But it's sort of like the gumball in Rhino. So if I drag, for instance, here, I can move the object back in my scene. I can move it forward in my scene and again you can move it left right similar behavior the same behavior as you would see in Rhino now the thing a few people have asked is about rotating an object so that's done in the gumball here so for instance the green axis allows me to rotate this if I want to lay it let's say flat in my scene I can drag that and then using my right mouse button rotate my view a bit. The thing you might need to do is to come to the front view just to see that it's contacting the ground plane. So you can do that from this tool here. So let me just spin around here. That's the left, that's the front, F for front. If you click actually on that tool here, it will set that as your view. And you can see my objects floating in space here. So if I, let's just try setting this to zero here. My z-axis, a little bit too low, just drag it up a bit. But basically you might have to just adjust the position of your object on the ground plane. And again you might have to rotate a little bit depending upon what your ring looks like to get that looking right. Let me just zoom out using my mouse button here and I'll just rotate using my right mouse button as well. And let me just pan this view. So I'm going to hold down shift first. Now I'm moving my object in the scene. Let's just click accept to close out of the move tool. And you're now free to render your scene or apply some different materials. Okay, I hope that helps with some basic navigation in Maverick Studio for any of the Rhino users out there. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you in another video.
Bye for now.